5, 4, 3. Red or White episode 1 coming up on this episode, a musical performer and first, an artist in his own right, previously an art teacher and a wonderful father to my friend Zach. Please welcome David Bradkey. Thank you, Nick. It's good to be here. A red or a white? I'd like a red, please. Thanks, Nick. Merlot, cab Merlot, soft. Yarra Valley wine, I hope. I mean, maybe not the edge of the Yarra Valley, I'd hope it is. Pinnacle drinks. No, 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 no. Surrey Hills, New South Wales. Don't remember any vineyards in Surrey Hills. And Brett Whiteley um, Museum, but not vineyards. Very soon. I feel the interviews are taken up with too much space. Not enough space. <laughs> you know, it's to do with the space and form, isn't it, really? Should be, yeah, focus on the space, the silence. David, the segment is Thing, and you brought in something for us. It's a clothes peg on a velvet cushion. Very significant peg that held up Salvador Dali's socks. And how did you come about that? Well, I was in, I was in Spain at the time. I wanted to meet him, um, but he was in apparently in New York City. So I wandered around the um, area in front of his house, around the water, and jumped the fence, and I wanted to take as you do a souvenir and they're little sculptures and things that he'd made around the garden and I felt that I'd respected him too much as an artist to take one of those and I thought oh, a clothes peg would be fun so I took one off the clothes line and swung his hammock for a while. I suppose with Dali he was often making the mundane extraordinary yeah and absolutely. perhaps you've taken something that's very mundane yeah yeah and given and elevated it to something that's as I said, you know, in the, in, as the precious object, and yet it's the clothes peg. Thank you for the anecdotes. You're more than welcome, Nick. We move on to the final segment, Mind Wine on the Beach. Are you familiar with Philip Glass's opera, Einstein on the Beach? I'm not so much with, with that particular opera, but I really I am a fan of Philip Glass's music. Your son has generously offered himself up to be sacrificed to the segment. He's going to be drinking for as long as it takes. Bravo. 